Now, uh, I would like to uh, give you some information uh, to a great topic which is uh, becoming more and more important for health and also for productivity of man and that's uh, the topic of corporate health. What can uh, any employee do for his health and for his success? Well, he will receive his private, his very private, his own health sense. So that's uh, the one, the uh, miniaturized ECG we use now and uh, in the next uh, time, uh, for sure, before summer, we'll uh, be also able uh, to uh, get the data via Bluetooth from any chest belts, also from our own. And then, and that's one of the most important things, uh, there is no actionism in, in uh, corporate health. With, with one action, with one seminar, uh, one uh, times fruit uh, to eat or anything like that, it doesn't work. Uh, if you have your device and you can measure as often as you want, you will be curious and you will find out what's good for you and what's not. And by that itself, without anything else, people will uh, change their lifestyle because no one uh, wants to uh, become worse. Everyone uh, wants to become younger, wants to have a better fire. And then he finds out maybe one liter of water more or very helpful. Uh, the um, relations uh, to uh, other people and whatever. Yeah. And you will get your rewards and that will help you uh, to become better. Uh, of course, data protection, privacy, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, the most important thing for us and we do everything to uh, secure this. Uh, that's uh, especially in Europe, uh, that's uh, a, a very important topic and that's, that's absolutely okay that way. And when one does his measurement, uh, this is uh, the, the result of a real case, of course, um, with a poor result. Uh, he's 39 years old, he's 51. Uh, actually, biologically, he has a poor processing of stress, the worst he can have. He is much uh, worse than the, the peer group, the others of, of his age, the other man. And uh, he will find out there there was no active regeneration during the day, poor sleep, physical performance is quite well because he's a sportsman, he's uh, a cyclist and he also went to the doctor because he actually wanted to uh, go over the Alps uh, with his mountain bike. But he has a poor state of health and he can go over there, mouse over in the performance bar and he can, uh, can watch. Uh, how he how he felt and how uh, he was during different activities. So he was uh, in sports. He was even to the borderlines, uh, really exhausted. It, it didn't harm. He was quite tired in the evening because he did a lot of computer work until three o'clock, and uh, he had uh, long phases of sleep of exhaustion. And uh, he got also his resources, of course. He uh, had uh, three hours of sports uh, with a perfect intensity, with perfect regeneration after his, uh, his activation, uh, within uh, the recommended post level. So everything okay. But he also uh, uh, saw clearly uh, where the weaknesses are. He slept just for five hours and 15 minutes. Uh, he could not activate his uh, vagus nerve. The pulse level was um, above 72 beats per minute and the decrease uh, from pulse um, against day was, was less than 11%. So all very poor. And the system uh, gives him also the right recommendations because the sense there is no reason not to sleep for as long as is good for you. And that, that was the purpose. And then there was a deal with the doctor. And uh, he told him, you will not go uh, with your bike over the Alps, um, but uh, we make a challenge. You will sleep for six weeks, at least seven hours a day. And then uh, we'll have a recheck 
and uh, then he changed nothing else in his life. Uh, but he slept for seven and a half hour, uh, and he was uh, in all uh, indices better than uh, the others of his age group, and he uh, was uh, also in uh, the long distance and uh, over the periods then in uh, in a good shape and uh, that's also helpful of course for people to see the sustainable excess and what uh, we can do as experts uh, working with uh, HRV and um, having uh, the education in HRV we can upgrade the measurements uh, our clients uh, have already performed and then we can see here for example uh, the high heart rate during uh, the night and uh, the poor uh, vagal activity we see uh, the total power is less than during the day it should be more than during the day the the hrv uh, the high frequency is 85 percent higher but that's not that much yeah uh, and we have the stress um, um, the step uh, index uh, that's um, below one it's also poor so a lot of signs we see here the uh, breathing frequency and um, underneath uh, the relation of uh, heart rate and breathing frequency that should be uh, in uh, integer multiple and uh, running in a flat rate it wasn't uh, with that guy and we can also click into a, a segment of five minutes segment uh, i always say it's like looking with the microscope and we see here um, um, at, at four in the morning uh, he has a heart rate of 76 uh, he has minus 82 percent of total power he is even minus 75 percent uh, of of high frequency that, that's um, uh, vagal tonus and he has uh, zero percent and hundred percent less than during the day on, on the um, second um, index for vagal activity so very poor so harry also what you show now is uh, that your system have two different uh, modus as one for normal people who use this for their own health and for medical professionals like uh, physician medical doctors and special trained coaches who have a, have a professional training they get access to uh, quite uh, some more of the detail of the results so they can go in and see all the all the numbers very very detailed but of course to do this you need to have some uh, serious training or else it will be only be uh, frustrating yeah? so just uh, so th is this correct that uh... it's it's like every discipline yeah if i uh, if i have a wonderful new ultrasound machine um, in, in my um, as a gynecologist it looks good but uh, if i don't know uh, the patterns and i if i don't know how to handle it um, it's not funny it's, it's it's the same here but it's not that complicated uh, it's it's to be understood with uh, with with, with um, without uh, special medical education that's yes. that's not that but uh, and it is it's interesting i think and this we will talk about uh, later in the presentation about uh, how uh, people can be trained yeah so super uh what we see here now is uh, the the breathing uh, with the black line and underneath uh, the tachyogram uh, that's uh, every heartbeat we can look in here and we see the milliseconds 750 milliseconds that means 80 beats per minute of heart rate at uh, four in the morning and uh, the goal is to have um fine sinus curves uh, which uh, coherence so that uh, both are uh, in, the, in the in the same way and uh, that's uh, what it should be uh, during sleep and you can also zoom in and uh, see here um, every heartbeat and you can see here uh, if the filter has uh, cleaned out um, any artifacts or uh, written disturbances and a lot of things more 
And uh, the system also uh, gives you the information uh, about uh, the duration of sleep, how long as a 39 year old will sleep, the relaxation, so how good is uh, the uh, declining of a sympathetic tone, because the sympathetic tone has to go down during sleep, and the activation of uh, the vagal tone, and uh, that's uh, what we call recreation during sleep. And uh, simple but, but, but really interesting is uh, the level of heart rate. And he has uh, at the first test um, 72.28 beats per minute. And afterwards, less than 59. So that's a big difference. And uh, that's also clear for everybody that's much better and much more economics if you have a lower heart rate during uh, day and night. And, and then, based on this information, you are secure what's happening with your client and what's wrong under their articles, and then you can go into a personal coaching. You can do it face to face, you can do it virtually like we do now. Uh, it works uh, really proper in, in both ways. And what you do is you are reaching directly uh, the, the, the real topics. And there is not uh, cosmetics and talking around. You are really uh, then in the essentials um, which harm. And uh, that's uh, the basic for, for any change. Otherwise, it would be just uh, small talk. Uh, what we can do with our uh, team, with our partners uh, in different countries, so we can uh, also do uh, larger projects also, uh, with, with doctors and psychologists and others um, in Germany, um, Austria and Switzerland, but um, hopefully maybe also in Scandinavia in the next time. If yes, or uh, unless we will talk about the end or project, because I, you know, I tried to, to convince you the last days now to start a training program for my students in Norway in English. And of course, if there is other English speaking uh, uh, interested people, they will of course also be able to join. And uh, right. because it's difficult, you know, for a Norwegian to go to uh, to Vienna in in uh, in, Swiss, in in Austria in Switzerland in Austria and to attend a seminar in German. This is uh, not so easy. And this is uh, what we are now planning, how to make uh, this uh, virtual, like online, so more people can use this themselves, and also professionals, like medical professionals and coaches, can use these kind of tools for their clients and patients. That I find... Uh, yeah, that sounds perfect. Great. Yeah. We we'll have to spread this topic in the world. Yes. Yes, and that's uh, that's the uh, the community where you can post your measurements and you you get feedback. And also really interesting for the companies is uh, that they can objectively measure their human capital and they can measure the return of investment uh, they put into the performance and health of their employees. And um, if there are at least 130% take part and every uh, one agrees, uh, then uh, the company receives anonymized aggregated assets so that, um, that there is no possibility to uh, um, see the results of uh, a single one just uh, the aggregated, but um, it's really interesting for, for companies to see uh, the, the value of their human capital and also maybe from different divisions within the company. Mm -hmm. And I work a lot with uh, clients who are in a burnout and uh, uh, I know that uh, at least in Scandinavia it costs a company around 40 to 50,000 euros for each employee who go into a burnout. And um, having something like this for a company, you see anonymous the state of your of your worker, and you can see what you can do as a company also to change so people are not getting ill. 
and uh, then we are really starting to talk about uh, uh, exciting medicine for businesses so they are not waiting to 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 um, to th that the um, employee is getting ill but they can see the, the 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 structure and how things are developing so they can put in uh, courses and seminars and uh, maybe they are, have some extra intensive from the HR department and uh, so on and so on. And this I find also very, very helpful for a company who try to take care of their employees and in the other hand also um, maximize their, their, their result and their return by keeping their employees uh, really healthy and fit. And the, the readiness to, uh, to, to do something um, against burnout if you have a bad result or uh, the awareness to, to optimization uh, is enhanced by this, of course. And uh, if uh, you make uh, helpful choices uh, to uh, avoid burnout or also to enhance your, your productivity, then they will take it uh, and uh, it's the correct one. It's not just something we do for everyone, uh, but uh, you can see what's important for me. Is it is it eating? Is it relaxation? Is it sleep? Whatever. Mm -hmm. and, and, is it and, and, in the private area? Yeah. Sorry. And then this okay. discussion and, the, and this, this the discussion about, yeah, six hours is enough. You know, I have read that six hours is enough. Four hours is enough, and so on. this is a, a not interesting question anymore because you can see it very easily when you do a measurement like this. If six hours is enough, <laughs> what we what we see really clearly is it is not what it is. It is what it means to you. There are uh, people working for eighteen hours a day and they have perfect results because they are so curious and they are emphasized by what they are doing. And there are others working for six hours and uh, they have mobbing and they have, have absolutely bad results. Uh, so it's it's not the quantity; it's what it what it means to you. Mm -hmm. Super. So. Yes, there is a guideline from uh, the German uh, corporate um, health medicine, uh, and they recommend uh, HIV uh, for corporate health. And we are now um, just before the presentation of uh, research we do with a university in Austria, which is really uh, uh, famous for, for for corporate health research, and we have uh, really good results uh, with with HIV in 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 corporates. Uh, 